really thank you for coming to our first show today. We have another one at uh, 6 o'clock later on. So, um, I also want to thank the, the church. Uh, first Kong is a really cool church. Uh, we just did a, a um, documentary on East Long Meadow with one of my film groups at school. And this church has been around for almost 200 years. So, pretty cool. And uh, we're thinking about, I was just saying to the cast, if you guys are the originals, I think we're going to do this more often. We put a nice fresh coat of paint on the place, stick some lighting, and um, have annual plays or have it a couple times a year. So, how did the story come about? Well, Amanda and I have worked at Maple Shade uh, for a while, and we talked. When we first met, I was playing my ukulele, and she's like, I love ukulele. And she's like, Well, I've also been playing, I've been in a lot of plays, and I'm like, Oh, me too. So, uh, here we are. And, uh, so in the wintertime, we put together a, play, a, a workshop. And then we realized, because you know, we were both, we were teaching remotely as well, right? Yep. So we went from teaching remotely, 15, 20 children online, and like, you know, five would kind of disappear and come back. And it was, looking back on it now, we're all kind of like, oh, that was kind of nuts, right? Um, one thing we did realize when we came back face to face, you know, every year, the attention span goes down a little bit. When everyone came back and asked for finally off, the attention span went really bad. So, um, and we started talking and saying, wow, you know, it'd be cool if we did something where they can work together as a team for a common goal. And this group here has been nothing short of magical to work with. I mean, they have been, we, we meet about two and a half hours every day, and they, it goes by it's like a half month. So, uh, and they came in this morning, and they were they were nervous, excited, but nervous. Um, I think so. what John needs is off the walls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "Okay, I'm sweating." A lot of them, I think, about half of them told me they were sweating. <laughs> I'm like, "That's good. It means you care." It's also July, and you're in long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, totally. So we we. Um, we also didn't want the children to stress out in any way with a huge script with multiple songs and dances and set changes. So we have everything you see on here. Uh, we guided everybody, but they really took the reins and they took them quickly. And they, they took uh, their parts very seriously. And we, we've been very impressed with, we just, we basically all just met right before the 4th of July. Here we are with a live show that they put together and they put the work in. So it's a adaptation summary of Peter Pan. It runs about 20 minutes. If you need lines really fast because they're nervous, 15. Um, so uh, the last thing I wanted to say was, I, well, I said earlier that we're going we're gonna to probably do something again in the fall, maybe do a full play. So uh, we put together um, music that was um, royalty free music and we actually piece things together and we put together Peter Pan's usually an 82 page with songs and this is about 13 pages um, and we kind of adapted things a little bit we got rid of the kiss part for the gift we're like, yes we're like uh, no and also ew <laughs> <laughs> going back to what I was saying about seeing in the classroom and giving directions and we were both saying man five that maybe would pay attention the first time Oh, great kids, you know, but it's getting uh, acclimated back. And then once we got here, everybody was on the same page. So when I said, quiet on the set, quiet on the set, that happened. And then when Amanda said, places, everyone, they they places. Places. You're welcome, places. So they're all their places, they're ready to roll, we're ready to roll. Um, all you cast members back there, uh, to give you some comfort, I just want you to know, everybody's watching it. Can you show them how excited you are? Now, there's a part where we do need uh, audience participation. Peter Pan will guide you through that. That clap was great. Yes, she will. And she will make sure that you clap even louder. So, without further ado, enjoy the show. Enjoy!
party tonight. Can anything harm us, Mother, after the night light so lit? Nothing, precious. It's the eyes of a mother that leads me to go and show baby.
Straight true, Peter. Straight true. so much to me that it has followed me ever since, licking its lips for the rest of me. In a way, it's sort of a compliment. I want no such compliments. I want pizza pan. T'was he who first gave the brute its taste for me. Smee, someday that crocodile would have had me before this. But by lucky chance, it swallowed a clock, which shows tick-tock inside it. So before it can reach me, I hear the tick and bolt. Someday the clock will run down and he'll get you. Aye, that's the fear of the haunts. I say, this scene is hot. Oz Bob's hammers and tongs I'm burning. A chimney! The hideout! <gasps> well, 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 Tiger Lily, grab her, Smee. I got her, Ken. So we have found Tiger Lily and Peter Pan in his hideout. Ha <laughs> ha! They shall die. First, I shall tie Tiger Lily to Maruna's rock to drown. And while Peter and his boys try to save her, I shall poison a lot of them. The crocodile! shall be our mother. Never! What was that? Where's Tiger Lily? Let her go. Just like you said. <laughs> Bring Sony Gall. What cause is going on here? I gave no such order. Yes, I did! You did? Who are you? I am James Hook, captain of the Jolly Roger! If you were Hook, then who am I? A codfish! A codfish? Have you been captain all this time by a codfish? It's lowering my pride. Hook, have you another voice? I have. And another name? I are. Vegetable? No. Mineral? No. Animal? Yes. Man? No. Nope. Boy? Yup. Ordinary boy? By heavens, no! Wonderful boy? Yes, I am Peter Pan!
There was once a gentleman. I wish it was a lady. I wish it had been a white rat. Shut up, Nibs. There was also a lady. Oh, Mummy, you mean there's a lady also? She's not dead, is she? Oh, no. I'm awfully glad she's dead. Are you glad, John? Of course I am. Are you glad, Nibs? Rather. Hush. The gentleman's name was Mr. Darling, and her name was Mrs. Darling. I knew them. I think I knew them. They were married, of course, and had three lovely children, and a faithful nurse called Nana. But Mr. Darling was angry with Nana, and chained her up in the yard. <laughs> So the children flew away to Neverland, where the lost children are. I just thought they did. I don't know how it is, but I just thought they did. Hush. Now I want you to consider the feelings of those unhappy parents with all their children flown away. Oh. Think of the empty beds. Oh. It's awfully sad. I don't see how the story could have a happy ending, do you, Nibs? You see, our heroine knew that the mother would always leave the window open for her children to fly back by. So they stayed away for years and years and had a lovely time. Wendy, you are wrong about mothers. I, once like you, thought that my mother would always keep the window open for me, so I stayed away for many, many moons. And then I flew back. But the window was barred, for mother had forgotten all about me. And there was another little boy sleeping in my bed. Wendy, let's go home. Yes. Tonight? Not yes, tonight. tonight! At once. Perhaps their mothers have mourning by now. But mother, Wendy, you can't go. It'll be worse than sure she came. We shan't let her go. Let's keep her prisoner. I let's chain her up. Toodles. Toodles. I am just Toodles, and nobody minds me. But the first person who's not against one that is an English gentleman that I will sit on. Peter, can we go home? If you wish it, Tinkerbell here shall show you the way. And not get you eaten. <laughs> Dear ones, if you will all come with me, I feel almost certain I can get my father and mother to adopt you all. Yay! Peter, will you come? No. Now then, no fuss, no blubbering. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, Peter. Do you remember about changing your flannels? Yes. And you will take your medicine? I know you never do, but this time will you? For you, Wendy. Yes. Goodbye, Peter Pan. Wendy, let's go home to Mother. Yes.
I don't think my mother would be a pilot. You're, would your mother like to be a pirate, slightly? I don't think so. Would your mother like to be a pirate, Nibs? I don't think so. Stout the scab! You boy! You look as if you had a little pluck in you. Just never want to be a pirate, me hearty? I once thought of calling myself Red Handed Jack. What would I be called? Blackbeard Joe! Would we still be a respectful subject of the king? You would have to swear. Down with the king. Then I refuse. Rule Britain! Rule Britain! Rule Britain! That seals your doom. Bring out the plank. Bring the girl. I'll save you. Only if you my mother. I would rather have no children at all. A crocodile! No, 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 no. It's the girl. Never was luck on a pirate ship with a woman on board. We'll write the ship when she's gone. It's worth trying. Fling her overboard. Wendy! Dang it, these knots are tight. Peter! Proud of this you prepare to meet thy doom. Dark and sinister man, how about thee? Pan, who and what art thou? I am you, I am John! I have been waiting for you. 